So we went to Fort Miley in San Francisco to a ropes course where um, we were doing these activities that promoted unity and trust within the team and it was really good team bonding experience for us. I think that we all kind of got to know each other a little bit better and we were relying on each other for certain things. I think it's time to step up the challenge. What do y'all think? Yeah. Warm up feeling warm? Yeah, yeah colors. <laughs> yes, you can. Excellent. The ropes course and the activities that we did kind of challenged us and forced us to step outside of our comfort zone. But what was emphasised was that we weren't alone in doing that. We had people there to support us. We had our teammates, we had our coaches, and I think that really promoted a sense of trust. You said that. Where is that? <laughs> It's called the walk. And the challenge is real simple. Touching this tree and stepping onto the cables right here is the only place you can get onto the cables. My challenge is gonna be real simple. In 15 minutes, how many people can your team, can you get up on this tree, get across the first cable without touching the ground, get across the second cable without touching the ground, and then get across the third cable all the way to where Rents is down there without touching the ground or stepping off. I'm gonna ask the coaching staff for the first five minutes to just play that support role. To stay on the ground, to be spotting, to be coaching, to be giving you tips. And then halfway through, I'm gonna let the coaches get up on the activity as well. I'm trying, I'm trying. You got it, you got it. Put it on, put it above your hips, tighten it like a belt, and then tighten the legs. It was awesome to see people who I would never think would climb that high up a tree and swing down. I mean, it was crazy to see some people up there, like I know that they are afraid of heights, but because we were there, we were cheering them on, and we were there to support them. We were there pretty much spotting them, catching them if they were gonna fall and they were happy to do it. They did it and it was really cool. I think we all had so much fun and kind of learnt more about each other and about ourselves as well. She got it, I, I have total faith. That's easy. This is easy for her. Right, D? Shut up, Kiana. Okay. Good job, D. You're all right, D. You're all right. It's right there. It's right there. You got it. You got it. The team this year is awesome. I mean, we all get along so well. Um, we have great chemistry. And even the freshmen, the freshmen coming in, like we don't really know them that well, but they've just slotted in perfectly. I mean, we love spending time with each other. After practice, we're all going to dinner together. On the weekends, we're all trying to do activities together. And I think that's pretty rare for basketball teams. Usually you're trying to spend some time away from your teammates because you're spending so much time at practice and weights and everything. But we just want to be together. And I think um, this team building experience that we had kind of highlighted that. Good. We have such strong bonds on this team. And I think it was really cool to see our freshmen getting behind everyone else as well. I think like we're just trying to carry on this legacy of team chemistry and a team culture where we are here for each other. We got there really early in the morning. It was cold, we were pretty tired. We had practiced the day before, so we were all feeling a little fatigued. And um, it was a little bit of a slow start, but towards the end and it started to like, loosen up and we were having a lot of fun and we were warming up because we'd just been climbing a bunch of trees. Yes, yes, yes. Girl, keep going girl, keep going. Good job Marta, you got it tired. Oh. Oh.
one of the highlights of the day was uh, watching Tara and supporting Tara as she climbed up this really tall pole and stood on the top. It was pretty wobbly and unstable and she jumped off and tried to um, hit this buoy and it was t tough for us to do so seeing Tara do that was awesome. I mean she is our head coach and she's leading the way by doing this sort of stuff and we were so happy and so proud of her for doing that and I know that she felt the same way for us when we were up there. So it was, yeah, it was so fun. It's a portion. Don't lose focus. Good job, Sheesh. You got it, Sheesh. You got it. You got it. Flexibility. Flexibility. You got it. Yeah. I think that was super um, indicative of how our games go. Like first option, our first choice might not work. Our second, what we thought was gonna work, might not work. So you have to have backup plans <laughs> and keep persevering until you find out what works. The last activity I think was really fun because we, uh, we'd done these trust falls earlier on and they were kind of easy, you know, we were like, yeah, whatever, trust falls. But then, um, the last, the very last activity we did, we lifted people up above our heads and they were lying flat. And for some people, they didn't think that they would ever get up there. Not just players, but coaching staff as well. And it was awesome to see people just up there, like lifted up into the sky. And it was cool to be lifting the people up too. Like you're lifting your friends up, you're lifting people up that didn't think that they'd ever do that. Um, and yeah, it was so fun. The magic isn't what we did here today, right? Have you ever seen a magician? When they make something disappear, is that when you cheer? When they make it come back. So you gotta make it come back to the team or else we're gonna lose bring all this back. magic, all right? So what you always have to do is find ways to bring it back. Bring it Thank back. you guys, have a great season, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.